So here's the first two animals from this clutch and I'm gonna need you guys' help on this one. All right guys, welcome back to another Friday vlog and we have an awesome project to share with you. It's the Blackhead Clown Project and we just hatched some really crazy new combos out of it that are just really changed my mind on what we maybe direction we could take this project in the future. So we're gonna share those with you and share what we've made in the past and see where we might be able to go in the next phase of the project. All right, so this is a really cool clutch I'm looking forward to sharing with you guys. This is from a inchy yellow belly pied het clown to a leopard blackhead het clown. It was pos et pied too, did not prove. So it was a leopard blackhead het clown. So we have a lot of different things in here and all these clowns ended up being het pied as well and they turned out really cool. So let's check them out. All right, so here's the first two animals from this clutch and I'm gonna need you guys' help on this one. So make sure you give me lots of comments about what you think these are because this is definitely one of the more difficult clutches I've ever shown just because there's so much variation in blackhead normally and then it seems like there's more variation in this clutch than even we have the number of genes for. So we're gonna start with this one right here. This thing is absolutely incredible. This would be leopard blackhead yellow belly clown and is 100% head pied. And this is the one probably the whole clutch that I'm most sure on. I feel like this is just really straightforward. We've made leopard blackhead clowns look very similar. The yellow belly adds a really cool element, more lacing and more crazy belly there. This is an amazing animal. And this one I feel really sure about. This one is what starts the puzzle for me because to me, this is basically the same thing genetically as this one, only this one has Enchi. Now Enchi and Leopard have a really interesting interaction where they basically make a really bold stripe down the back. Um, Black has taken opening that up a little bit with red. Hell, it's a little bit of that Enchi head pattern, but it's kind of blown up a little bit too. This one definitely has yellow belly. You see all the medallions down the side, the white belly and the edging. So this one I believe has all the genes possible in the clutch right there. So inchy, leopard, blackhead, yellow belly, clown head, pied. But then the next two are throw all this into question because they're amazing looking, but are really hard to define. All right, so these next two are wild looking. Look, they have these like mohawks on their head. They are really, really, really cool. And again, this is definitely an inchy leopard interaction. You see how similar it is to the head of this one we just showed. The back of the head's exactly the same almost. So these are definitely inchy leopards, but they're very dark. They're very deep colored. And I'm not sure, it could be blackheads too? Because if they are blackheads, then why are these so different? So definitely inchy leopard and it's clown, 100% head pied, but could it be hiding maybe a, a less bold version of blackhead? You know, blackheads are extremely variable because I can't really explain the look of this animal without saying it's blackhead too. And then this one is even wilder looking because we're adding yellow belly into the mix. So I would say this is leopard, inchy, yellow belly, clown head pied, improbable blackhead. The issue I have is that's exactly what I defined this one as. And you see they are very different from each other and yet a lot of similarities too. You see the same, the same belly sides here, a similar back stripe. This one just has a different head, head pattern, head quality. So are we seeing variations of blackhead? What are we, what's going on with these? And the answer is, I don't know. Tell me your thoughts in the comments below, but we're definitely gonna breed these. Um, there are several males here, so we're gonna breed them to each one to different snakes, see what pops out but I'm really, really blown away by how awesome they look. And so honestly, it's just a fun challenge to figure out what they actually are. So last thing I wanna show you is the difference between the visual. Like this one, I think visually has all the genes. Leopard blackhead, inchy yellow belly, clown. And this is leopard blackhead, inchy yellow belly, but it's het and not visual. So you see the difference that clown makes. And this is a very, very visually stunning animal. You can see that's got a little bit of a ringer there. But that's the difference between, there's about two weeks difference in age. This one is the het version and this is the visual clown version. Very interesting to see how different they become.
So that's the most recent Blackhead Clown Clutch. Now let's look at something we made about two years ago that's kind of the bedrock of where we're headed with this stuff. It'll be really interesting to see how they've improved and changed over time. All right, so from two years ago, this is a female Blackhead Clown. So we get to give us a good idea of the baseline for just a standard Blackhead Clown. You see it's really aberrant. It's got great color, very, very dark, just very pixelated and kind of blowing up on the back. And this girl is almost big enough to breed. She's probably about 13, 1400 grams now. And uh, she'll be key to the super blackhead um, clowns maybe later this year if we're lucky. Be really, really interesting to see where this goes. So this girl is one of my most anticipated potential clutches this year for the blackhead project. She is leopard blackhead phantom clown. So just absolutely beautiful. You see how similar her pattern is to the one we showed just a little bit ago, the baby, but she's really, really tight here. She's not gonna stretch her out. But just look at that kind of faded pattern overall. Just a really, really neat look, the all interconnected pattern. And uh, she's already actually already been um, paired a couple times to a redhead spot nose clown. So we're trying to go like a redhead Batman with Phantom and Blackhead in the mix. It'd be really, really cool to see kind of what comes from that combining of the redhead project with the blackhead project. So what should we call that? We should call that the maroon head clown. We need to combine the redhead and the blackhead into the clown project. It'd be really interesting to see what happens. Okay. So this is the male we're actually breeding to that girl. This is redhead spot nose head clown. And I really love how the redhead and spot nose interact. And it actually makes such a golden, beautiful snake there with that really strong stripe down the back. It's a really neat combo even outside of the clown. So here we have a blackhead G-stripe, and I got this one from Reed at Tallgrass Reptiles. Awesome guy. This girl has done extremely well, and she's actually already gravid now. So she was actually bred to a red stripe, yellow belly, black pastel, spot nose, double hat, G-stripe clown. So we're gonna hopefully get some really crazy new blackhead, red stripe, spot nose, yellow belly, G-stripes out of this girl. Um, and we'll see what those look like and see how good they are. But she is absolutely beautiful. I love the definition and darkness that she puts on the G-stripe with the black head in there. All right, guys, that's it. Hope you enjoyed that. I'm really excited about the blackhead clown combo for the future. Um, just seeing some of these kind of gets the juices going on which direction it might be able to go. And I think in 2021, if somebody hits the super blackhead clown, whether it be here or somewhere else, I think it's gonna really open up our minds to the possibility of what we could do that's really unique to that gene. So I hope you enjoyed that. Be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you again next week.